Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Google has done it again. They've again done something the entire Android world talks about and not only developers but also normal users. Google has announced to stop allowing side loading of Android apps in future. So side loading is pretty much the thing that allowed us to install APKs from anywhere from the browser maybe from other apps that we can in the end just download APKs just like a normal downloadable executable on your desktop machine but on Android and install that after having turned on a certain setting to allow these installations from unknown sources. And yes, that was the cause of a lot of piracy, of a lot of viruses, of a lot of malware installed on Android devices. But this also pretty much means that one more thing that made Android as a platform unique and special compared to iOS is now going away. And if you now say, Google, I hate you, you can actually learn to build KMP apps in my free workshop on Saturday and start to hate Apple as well. Last chance to register, link is below. But back to Google. What Google calls a new layer of security in their official blog article, the Android community calls utter garbage. If we're honest, this new layer of security is just typical corporate slang to say we actually have different reasons, but we don't tell you. So what will specifically change about Android here in future? You won't be able anymore to install random apps from the web browser. And while technically that will still be possible to download APKs and install these, these installations will only be allowed from the Google side if you are a verified developer or if the APK is from a verified developer. So only then you can sideload it. So even if you now say, F you Google, I don't need Google Play to distribute my app, you now do. Since you will have to verify as a developer because otherwise nobody will be able to download your app if you don't want to publish it on Google Play or also provide it somewhere else in addition. And this change will slowly start in October 2025. In March next year, verification will then open for all developers. So that is then when this whole thing starts to roll. And these actual requirements that you need to have a verified account in order to let users sideload your app, these will take effect in a few countries in a year. So I think in September 2026, and then will be rolled out globally in 2027. But why are people, including me, actually so upset about this? And I explicitly say people here since both Android developers as well as its users are involved. Since in the past, most of Google's restrictions that caused a lot of complaints were mostly complaints by developers, but not by users. But now it's actually the users of Android as well. You know, back then when I personally had my first Android phone at 13 years old and HTC Sensation 4, there have been huge differences between Android and iOS. iOS back then was already very restrictive. You had to jailbreak it in order to really get full access and install apps from outside the App Store. Android at the same time was made for people who love freedom. It was for people who said, I don't want that a big corporate company dictates how I use my own purchase device. It was for people who said, why should a phone have more limitations than a desktop? Why shouldn't it be possible to just get to a random website and download an app? But if we take a look at Android nowadays, then the entire Android OS is just full of restrictions. You can't do this, you can't do that. Here you need a permission, but that permission needs to be granted from Google Play in addition. Oh, your app is in the background for too long. I will kill its process and you need to figure out how to restore it. Then in 2023, Google decided to only allow publishing apps when you had 20 testers for that app which is an insane requirement. Nowadays, it's, I think, 12 testers. But again, using their user security as an excuse for this requirement, that an app just needs to be properly tested, but even huge companies don't have 20 testers in their teams. And I also made a video about that back then, which became one of my most clicked videos, which shows how upset developers were about these changes from Google. And now they did it again. In their official blog article, they say that their recent analysis found over 50 times more malware from internet side-loaded sources than on apps available through Google Play. Is that a surprise? No, of course not. Is it therefore right to forbid site loading because of that? I think no. It's really like saying my recent analysis has found out that you are much more likely to die if you drive a car than if you don't. So would it be right to forbid cars now? To me, Google is currently really feeling like a government that restricts you, that limits your freedom under the guise of protecting you when in reality, they just want more control. Because maybe you also remember my videos about Google and the fight against the Epic App Store, where they had a big lawsuit and in the end Epic won, which means, hey, other app stores must also be allowed to release their own Android apps. Google is not allowed to do anything against that to limit people in any way. And now they actually forbid sideloading of apps, which of course also affects all these external third-party app stores like the Epic App Store. And again, it's not like this will be completely forbidden in future. 
you will still be able to use those third-party app stores, but you will have to verify. If you have a company, you will actually need an additional verification number, this DUNS number, which I personally had to get just for these app stores, which is additional bureaucracy. And if you're an individual developer, then I guess you need to upload your ID, provide your address and all your details in order to really verify there. If you want people to install your app, not even from Google Play, but from other stores, from a browser. And if we think about it, with Android as a platform, there are three big stakeholders who have an interest in Android being a nice platform. The users, the developers, and Google themselves. Of course, there are more, but these are the three main ones. And if such a change like here is now being rejected by both the users and developers, only one remains who benefits. And as someone who got into Android because of all of these things that made Android unique and cool, these changes are really just disappointing. I'm personally developing native Android apps for the past seven to eight years. And sadly, I have to say that I only enjoyed for so long until Google gets involved. And that is a big reason why I personally don't publish any Android apps. What is your take? Comments are open. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you back in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye-bye.